And great to have you with us as always. Yankees Hot Stove here on YesNetwork.com. Bob Lorenz, Jack Curry, and John Flaherty with you. So the news now official. We heard it at the winter meetings. Jay Happ coming back to the Yankees. It's a deal we all felt just had to happen. And it did, Bob, and it happened the way the Yankees wanted it to happen. They get him for a two-year deal with an option. It's an achievable option. It's one that you would expect Happ to be able to exercise as long as he pitches well for the Yankees. But I like this move for the Yankees because one of the things the Yankees have to figure out with any player or pitcher that they pursue is how is this person going to acclimate to New York and we already saw that last year with Jay Happ 7 and 0 in ERA of under 3 he's a pro nothing gets to him I said this a lot on our post game shows he reminds me of Jimmy Key not so much about the stuff because Jimmy Key was finesse with a curveball and Happ is throws hard lots of fastballs but with his demeanor I don't think anything bothers him he could be winning 16 to nothing or losing 16 to nothing and he's got that same attitude you know I have to imagine that he probably if he wanted to could have held out for a three year deal somewhere so the fact that he came back to the Yankees two in an option tells everybody this is where I wanted to be and take it a step further Jack everybody talks about him in the clubhouse not only being able to deal with New York being able to pitch for the Yankees but the positive influence that he had during his time with the Yankees last year in the clubhouse and some of the younger players that's invaluable right now I mean this is a team with a lot of young talent trying to get them to be more of a veteran type player Jay Happ's going to be another great influence all right let's talk about a deal that hasn't happened I don't think has to happen and I think some people share that viewpoint but do you Yankees signing Manny Machado yeah the Yankees are going to meet with him this week we know that they're going to meet on Wednesday I know the Yankees are interested in Manny Machado we've reported that other people have reported that but the addendum for me has always been that the Yankees are interested in Manny Machado under their parameters under what they think they believe they should give him in terms of years and money. He's also going to meet with the White Sox and the Phillies this week. We'll see, Bob. I don't think this is a deal that's going to happen anytime soon. I think both he and Harper are going to drag their free agency out. I just don't know if the Yankees are going to be the team that makes the highest offer. I don't think they will be. So that's why I think Pachado ends up going to the highest bidder. I don't think it's going to be the team in the Bronx. You know, this meeting is intriguing to me, though. Like, what's going to take place? I'm sure there's going to be some whining and dining. But Hal Steinbrenner was very honest and said, I would like to talk to Manny Machado about the not hustling comments. Is that going to be a sit down that's going to happen? You would assume that it will be. Will he make enough of a positive impression? Kind of, Jack, to your point that the Yankees say, OK, this is somebody we're comfortable with on our terms and see if you can get a deal done. All right, we'll keep an eye on that. That's going to do it for now. Make sure to keep up with Yes's social media feeds and YesNetwork.com for all the latest on the Yankees. Plus, you can check your listings for airtimes of Yankees Hot Stove. Take care.